summarize the uh, Manziel Cowboys column? Well, essentially, I think it's educated speculation, talk around the league type of information. Okay, you do not have Jerry Jones saying, nor could you, because it would be considered tampering. Yes, we're going to go out and get Johnny Manziel, but just look at it logically. Okay, look at what he told the radio station down in Dallas this week. He said that when Johnny Manziel was in the draft, Johnny Manziel was in the top five or six players on their draft board. Jerry wanted to draft him and was held at bay by others within the organization who opted and convinced him to go for Zach Martin. So if Jerry Jones wanted him that badly, and Johnny Manziel is probably going to be shipped out of Cleveland after this season, Dallas would be one of the two or three logical landing spots. Now, there are a couple of others that we pointed out in the article when Johnny Manziel was coming out. The St. Louis Rams did an awful lot of background work into him, considered drafting him, wisely went with Aaron Donald instead. The Rams have not solved their quarterback issues, so the Rams become a potential landing spot. Mm. The 49ers, I think, have checked out Johnny Manziel from afar. Colin Kaepernick has been banished, essentially, from that organization. Nobody expects him back. They have short- and long-term needs of that position. They would be a potential destination. Now, again, you're just speaking to people, and we're adding one and one, and it equals two, but those are the three spots that make the most sense for Johnny Manziel after the season. Dallas, St. Louis, San Francisco. Somebody will roll the dice. And you know that Jerry loves to make a splash, particularly mm. when the cost is as low as it's going to be to get a player like Johnny Manziel. Plus Dallas, look, Dallas, you know, I, it, it's kind of odd, but they have a chance to finish in the top five, top ten draft picks. Tony Romo is going to be 36 next season. He's coming off three collarbone injuries during the course of his NFL career. The Dallas Cowboys will be adding minimum one, maybe two quarterbacks. So maybe they go and draft one. Maybe they go and trade for Johnny and decide not to draft one for another year because they figure they can get Tony Romo some help on defense or whatever it may be for the two, three, four, five seasons they still hope he can play. But, yeah, Johnny Manziel is going to figure in the conversation for those three teams. Maybe others weigh in. I think, obviously, he's a polarizing figure. I think there are some strong opinions about him. Uh, many of it is not good. Much of it is not good around the league. But there will be a few teams that I believe will have some interest, and those are, I think, right now, three potential landing spots. Chip Kelly recruited him in Oregon. I don't know if if Chip stays in Philadelphia, if that would be an option for him as well. I, I think it would be. I think he'd be in the conversation as well, Dan. Look, he's got to find somebody to run that offense. Sam Bradford's contract is up. Mark Sanchez has not proven that he can be a reliable week-in and week-out starter. I think the Eagles will look over all those options. And yeah, Johnny Manziel, as you wisely pointed out, was supposed to go to Oregon. And he was supposed to be there with Marcus Mariota at the same time, if I'm not mistaken. And so if Chip Kelly had interest in him then, and the price is going to be as low as it is this offseason on him, why would he not have interest next season? That, that's also a logical landing spot.